No, 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 no heroes. No, 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 no heroes. No heroes, baby. We see Rob Lucci starting. And I guess, you know, passing time. And there's the one cost bunny. So looking, let's see. At top five for uh, supernovas, I guess. Yeah. And yeah. I think he is playing um, the mixed version. He's not playing just mono supernovas. He's playing um, also, I think it was Viola, uh, Baby Five to oh, okay. find um, the Dofis. Yeah, it's good because you have two searchers for the deck, so. Yes. That's true. More likely to find something in your um, top five. Um, the, the the downside is is like consistency. You can yes. If a lot you miss, more. it's gonna hurt a lot. But yeah, the combo the combos with um, you know the dual like Dofi and Supernova um, deck is pretty good. Yeah, but there's Rob Lucci, one of the new top contenders of the new format. Like Sakazuki's. Fan, so just play Rob Lucci, I guess. I mean, I'm surprised that not a lot of people are uh, playing Gekko Mori anymore because just a few days ago he was the top dog. Uh, and seeing okay, we see the MVP of this deck, Vogue or Rouge. I, I've seen a lot of people pronounce him differently, so I'm, I'm not sure, but let's say that guy. <clears throat> We see, his, we see his swing uh, 5 into lead, reducing him to a 3 cost, or reducing my 1, there we go. Yeah, it's funny that um, everyone who reads Luchi first says, oh my god, he's just bad, like, just play Gekomoria, but in the end, it seems like the better deck now. Like, you have all the tools for the CP cards, and it's, it's crazy value. But uh, we're gonna see. I mean, tapping one, playing Sue, I guess, because the yeah, playing Sue. Yeah. So it's a one cost now. And then and we see one of bottom the most hated card in, in black. And we see one of the stages being bottom decked. But I guess this in this uh, in this scenario. It is not as crucial, but the stage. I am thankful that the stage is not searchable because all yeah. oh lot, <laughs> it would have been so tough. Yes. I so, guess yeah. a world government card, so you can edit. But I wonder, are there any world government searchers? I'm not sure, to be honest. So but maybe not in maybe not in color. Oh, fair, fair, fair. So. We're gonna head back to Lucci, um, swinging with Rob Lucci first. Yeah. And uh, I mean, out. that's a fair point. Swing with the leader, reducing him. I'm gonna take it. Now here's here's the here's the interesting part. Okay, okay, we're not gonna do that. But uh, there's an argument, right? If you had anything that can KO him to um, attack, actually no, it wouldn't work. But basically, if you had an event card that can KO like a five cost or four cost or whatever, there's an argument to just swing with two. So uh, I think Hawkins is his name. Yeah, so uh, cannot tap anything on his side to yeah. um, prevent him from leaving the play, which I think would be a really crazy thing to do. Um, but it didn't happen, so let's not let's not go that route. So we're gonna see a swing into life. We're gonna just take that. And Ooh. okay. And he just blew, uh, and come out, and another and was, Yep. So both Hawkins are, you know, 
seven cost blockers. Yeah, Why that's the, bon over. the Bonnie leader effect is active now. He has one um, don't open, so he can use the effect. That's true. That's true. So I think we should be at seven or nine. Wait. I think we are on yes, nine. We are on does nine. he have three, two or three, uh, two Morias? Okay. Um, two. And I think it's three two. finger pistols. I guess. Fair. Swing. Trashing the top two cards. Ah uh, no, Tempest. Using. <laughs> yeah, using it to tap the blocker. Announcing aggression. I like that. Yeah. That's resting. And we see this being easily blocked. Yeah. And now. <clears throat> yeah, three Tempest Kicks in hand. Maybe one is going to be used. I mean, so right now. And trash. If your trash has 10 or more cards, give one of your opponent's character minus three cost for the turn. Oh, but he doesn't have enough in trash. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he's one card short. Oh, but it doesn't matter. It um it will it deactivate the effect results in trash so he said ah, ten. Okay, so yeah, it's ten. So so he should be a two cost. So yeah. yep, there we go. I mean, he just could swing into one Hawkins. Yeah, but. It out. But now, if he swings into a Hawkins, I mean, if he wanted to, then he can just tap another card to prevent him leaving play. So, yeah, you're right. But I think we're gonna, now gonna see the world renowned combo. Um, unless I am mistaken, because now there's an argument that you. All right. Okay. What is? Uh, I can see it. <laughs> it's Brook. Ah, uh, it's Brook. Yeah, yeah. EBO one Brook. It looks like it, but I didn't see an attack come true. So I'm. I am confused why he counted out. And besides that, uh, I think there was just a sequencing error. Oh, but... Arman has uh, three Holy Jones in hand. Oh. One baby five. Yeah, but man, no tankers. So let's see. <clears throat> yeah, yep. there is it. Take one. And then we're gonna see probably seven, seven, eights. That's this is like the most likely thing. And then next turn we're just gonna, gonna see another <laughs> Cody Jones and tapping all the other blockers and yeah. Yeah. Nah. I mean, with double Tempest Kick, I think there's a spin. Is a spin? I cannot. The one cost uh, searcher. I forgot. His it's spend him. Is it spend him? And the other one that is a free cost that summons Luchi's is spend dine. Should... Yeah. Uh, one cost is spend them and the three cost is spend that. Yeah, you're right. All right, all right. Yeah, there are a lot of plays you can do. But it's really tough. Yeah. Like I right mean, now. I guess he has to leave one open for the leader effect. Yeah, but then you swing seven, seven, eight, seven. What? 
You don't have a blocker. Lucci yeah. goes down to probably one or two because uh, his hand does not look like he can count out all yeah, of most of them are Tempest kicks already. And I think one was Gekumoria. And uh, Chad is already discussing like the situation, uh, but it's got mentioned the stage. Yeah, yeah. Lucci did not find the stage at all, uh, which is a tough call, I'll be honest. You know, yes. No stage is a really, really... Uh... It's rough. Yeah, he has two spam lamps in hand. So swinging <clears throat> seven again. Swinging seven. Seven. And swinging eight. I know, he's eight. Yep. Damn. And passing turn. And, and he now still, he still has this... um, the two Hody Jones in hand. It looks pretty tough. Yes, sure. Like, yeah, Lucia has a full board. And, uh, you know, Bonnie has only two life, but. This yeah, is yeah, gonna be to combo, so it's yeah, gonna it's be to hard. combo. He can tap in the potential attacker. He can just tap Gekko Moria just in itself. He can protect his board by tapping others. It's just it's just tough. Yes. And I think that's something that can slip out of your mind in a situation like this. Because I mean both decks are new. Again, Lucius playstyle is not exactly new because you know a lot of black uh, black decks played in a similar vein yeah. but uh you know hawkins being able to just save himself ah, it's good it's good i think it i think that right now is a pretty tough call yeah. um Yeah, playing without the stage is really hard for him now. I mean, your best call right now is trying to reduce the board. But then again, if he swings, he taps Zabo. And he can make sure that there's just two blockers and Holy just taps those two blockers. It's just tough. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Need effect. Yep. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. And he was swinging at life. And he just takes it. I don't see a reason why you don't want to. I think you also, there's a high chance you just go to zero. Yeah. Um, at the end of the day, you're gonna go to zero either way if you play your own Holy Jones. Yeah, that's right. And I think Lucci is counting up for lethal. If he can get lethal. Because there's no blocker on the side of Bonnie. And his, his chances are not that good. Yeah, swinging nine. Um... So then having seven done left, you can you need to attach a Don to Brook so he can swing. Yeah. So then you can have a 5k swing and just uh 11k swing or just attach all the remaining seven to swing yeah. for 12. I guess um, he has to finish the game now. Otherwise he will just die on the next turn. Mm. Do we see even 9k to count out? Or do we see enough for the potential 12k uh, swing? I mean, at least he has still two swings. I mean, yeah, but right now, if he does not count out of this one, um... I mean, his hand is double Holy Jones. Yeah. So that's there's two cards less that can count out. Uh, I don't see uh, you know a tankos, but I don't see much counter either. I see 
Right. The answer yeah. has been given. We okay. count out with 10, yeah. with baby fives. Okay. Then I think viola. So right now we have, I think, 3k counter potential left. Um, I'm not even sure um, when he used the... Oh no, no, it's fine. I, I was thinking if he wouldn't have um, tapped the Sabo, but Sabo still can attack, so yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, that's 6k, right? Yeah, it should be 6k. And he, which can yeah, be okay. easily answered. Okay. And should be game now. I mean, for for Don. I mean, he maybe plays another Rebecca. Yeah, I I don't know if he has one. But I even if he has one, he could just do the Holy Jones. So. Uh, guess. Okay. With seven. Okay, right. to Basil. Red, uh, Tempest, Tempest kick. kick. To cycle out, I guess double Tempest Kick. Tempest Kick. And get yeah. just more counter. Oh, there's the stage. Uh, way too late, man. But yeah. yeah uh, there's one Rebecca open, but he still has Tony Jones. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, we see the handshake, <laughs> and we see Arman flexing. So yeah, no, I think uh, it was a tough call for Lucci. Yeah. Um, but there was I didn't count exactly how much uh, counter Arman had in hand, but there was yeah. a high chance he could just lose if uh, Lucci uh, figures the <laughs> right amount of uh, dons that he needs yeah. to take to swing. Because if one of those swings connected, yeah, it would have been tough. But among Putru, we uh, see him being fun. Oh, yes. while I, I am for cert, I am for I am certain that there's going to be an interview with him. So I would not worry. Um, in the meantime, though, I would check if we have some more interesting uh, matchups. Yeah, but. Will we switch to the interview? Just uh... we'll do it right now. We do it right now. Oh, not right now. We will right. do it. Let's see if we have some other interesting matchups. We have potentially. Um, we have currently two Namis that are undefeated. Oh wow! Okay. Um, I mean, their games did not resolve, so maybe it's gonna change. But they are both facing yeah. Lucci. Um. Looking at other decks that are quite interesting, we have a we have a Dofi being undefeated. You know, nice. OP one Dofi. That's really good. Um, I mean, obviously we have um, Armand being undefeated as Bonnie. So, but there are, there's also another person that is undefeated. So, but besides that, I don't think there's going to be anything of major spice that is uh, undefeated right now. So mm. let's see what we're going to pick for round five. Most likely if the Nami has an interesting matchup, the Nami mm. on. But uh, enough talk from my end. We're going to hear Arman and Abra talk uh, about the match. So here we go. Let's switch. <laughs> right. Awkward waiting time, no follow. I got to. Dritte Runde gewonnen, wie fühlst du dich, Bro? Sehr gut. Ich grüße euch allen erstmal. Und ja, vierte Runde war das tatsächlich. Ah ja, vierte Runde, meinte ich ja. Du warst 3-0. Ja, 3-0 ja. war ich. Ähm, ich habe mich, hab mich für Bonnie entschieden. Ja, erzähl mal, warum Bonnie? Ich, hab, ich wollte ursprünglich Lucci spielen, mhm. aber ähm, ich habe viel getestet. Locker 100 Games. Mhm. Das Deck ist zu Brick an für dich, ja. es ist leider nicht konstant. Ja. Und das habe ich mich dagegen entschieden. Für OP08 wird es gut durch den Jack, aber Safe. jetzt mit OP07. Also, ich war schon ein bisschen verzweifelt, sage ich dir ja. ehrlich. Mhm. Ich habe mich äh, erst gestern für Bonnie entschieden, mhm. habe auch gestern die Karten mir geliehen. Krass. Ja, ich hab, sonst hätte ich alles High Rare, wie man mich halt kennt, aber <lacht> nicht, mal, nicht mal Leader ist High Rare. Also, nicht mal Alter. Und ja, und läuft gut momentan. Läuft mhm. sehr, sehr gut. Mhm. Also wolltest du einfach nur ein Deck haben, was deutlich konstanter ist? 
Ja, deutsch konstante ist. Das Problem ist, äh, du musst auch die Matchups richtig gut können. Ja, klar. Bonnie hat eine Chance gegen RPLO, auch gegen Lucci. Da Luffy, man, absolut favored. Äh, ja, natürlich hat es auch Furry, ja, ja, äh, Furry äh, Matches Favor, ja, wie Enel. Ja. Die ersten beiden Runden waren Enel, dann die dritte Runde war Gecko und ja. jetzt kam Lucci. Mhm. Mal gucken, was noch passiert. Äh, ich hoffe, Top Cut ist drin. Mal sehen, ich glaube es ehrlich gesagt nicht, mhm. aber ich gebe mein Bestes. Wir wissen alle, wie gut du bist. Das ist safe. Wie fühlst dir. du dich nach dem letzten Regional Win? Äh, ja, sehr, sehr gut. Ich fühle dich sehr, sehr schön an. Äh, lebt man nicht alle Tage. Absolut. Und zwar war das mein zweites. Das erste habe ich in England, England gewonnen. Ja. Aber trotzdem, wunderschönes Gefühl nach, Absolut, nach Monaten dann wieder noch eins gewinnen. Also wäre ja krass, wenn du nochmal ein No Heroes Event von uns gewinnst. Das wäre schon heftig, ey. Das wäre ein Traum für mich, natürlich. Ich gebe mein Bestes auf jeden Fall. Safe. Die Leute wollen das auch sehen. So Leute, das war Arman, Runde 4. Jetzt gibt's eine Pause. Kommt zurück zur Runde 5. So, stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye bye.